Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to do some multiplayer online racing. Three C-Class races today then and I'm going to try a couple of new cars that I've never driven before. First race today then is going to be at the Rosenheim Raceway and I'm going to use this Gorby here. Never used this before, never driven it so see how we get on six laps around here. Eleven of us in the race. Is it going to take a little while to get used to driving it? Oh, a couple of cars gone wide there on the corner. Can we nip up the inside? Just taking it a little bit easy at the moment. Got to watch because there's a tight right left hand corner here where cars can get squeezed. Oh, there's been a big crash and somehow we've managed to find a gap right through the middle and we're up into third place. Second and first place just about visible in the distance going to take this right hand path it's always a little bit more dangerous because you've got to brake hard and it's tricky to get round here we've got tyres flying over the top of our head I thought it was a car at one point but I think it was just tyres flicked up from that car behind good first lap then third place oh and second has clonked the barrier can we hold it tight and get up the inside had to take that a little bit more cautiously to make sure we got through but we're up into second place at least Quite a group of cars chasing us down though and the leader is shooting off into the distance. I've just touched the barriers as well, lost a bit of speed because of that. Nice tight corner there though, get the power back down, leader just about visible in the distance they're pulling away though. Try and be a bit more brave this time through this section. And another good lap just about two, two and a half seconds ahead of the car behind a little bit sluggish pulling away there from the corner from a dead start but it looks like the car behind sort of had similar issues they went slightly wide and again it looked like they were slow pulling away I'm trying to be brave through this section here this little chicane Nice to keep the revs up slightly better that time around that corner. Hold it left as much as I can, then turn it in tight right. Well, wow, halfway stage of the race, and we're in second place. We certainly can't live with that leader. They are off and away about seven seconds ahead now, actually, slightly dropping, but uh, of course, the time difference does ebb and flow slightly as you're on different parts of the track but we seem to be holding this second place quite nicely there's been a constant group of cars behind us but we've managed to maintain sort of about a two maybe three second gap forward from them the whole race so far see if any of those cars manage to pull away and try and reel us in nice track to race on this one as well of course two laps to go as we come over the line sling it in left then right to give ourselves a little bit of an angle for this corner hold it tight again managed to hold the revs a little bit better there this time around didn't allow it to die and if anything I think we're pulling away from third place slightly this chicane here is slightly blind so it's always nice when you get it right down towards this tight left hand corner again Gap to the leader though has just increased and increased the whole race. They're now about 11 seconds ahead, so whatever that car is, we are in no way competitive with that. Just got to watch second places. They're still there. They're still about two, two and a half seconds behind as we start the final lap. Just got to put in another good, decent lap though, and we should be able to get a second place. First time driving the Gorby, that won't be a bad result at all. That second place is probably as close as it's been for the whole race, about a second and a half behind now. Can't make any mistakes here, we're just about out of punting distance I think, they are very close coming into that corner though, right into this last final tricky section, are we far enough ahead that they can't take a lunge here, yet yeah, I think we're through. They are as close as they've been the whole race and I'm glad that there's not another lap but we are going to finish with a second place in our first race. 
44.4 second fastest lap. Yeah, the leader in her Raiden was two seconds ahead. No way I could live with that, but we were pretty competitive with most of the other cars in that race, though. On to today's second race, then, and we're going to be at the Eagles Peak Motor Park. Again, another new car for me. We're going to be using the Cardinal here with the nice police livery. Big, heavy car, this one, so let's see how we get on. Just going to uh, hold it on the corner. And we're going to get a run down the outside as well, which is nice. Front of two wheels, but we're okay. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we get on with this one. Really big, heavy car, so we're not going to get pushed around. But are we going to have enough speed to uh, be competitive? That's the thing. The leader is already starting to pull a gap ahead in what looks like a Raiden. Swing it across the corner here. Take advantage of the fact that there's no cars on the crossovers this early on in the race. Quite a big group chasing us down behind. Again, I'm going to let the car run wide and down the side of the ramp. Raiden has gone that very wide line that some cars take. They go right out onto the grass on the right-hand side and then that obviously gives them a really good line in. I never uh, like doing that. I prefer to stick to the track, just keep to the right of the track instead. Good first lap then. Still that group of cars behind, third place has pulled ahead slightly of that group and is chasing us down. As always head over to the right hand side here, gives the best line for the left hand corner coming up and also avoids the worst of the bumps up this straight. Throw it across the corner. And we are suddenly in first place. I don't know what happened there. I didn't see... The Raiden's obviously gone off. The leader's gone off somewhere. I didn't see. Uh, they are still on the on the leaderboard. They're there in fourth place. And the gap's not dropping, so they are off and running again. But yeah, they've obviously either made a mistake or, more likely, I would have thought, got hit on one of the crossovers. And we are past. Surprised I didn't see it. Well, that's... Really unexpected. Let's see if we can take advantage of this. Three cars now, though, fairly close behind us, chasing us down. That Raiden is back up into third place now. And we know they were way quicker than us around this track. Second place right behind, giving us a little nudge as we come into this corner. That's not a bad line, but there is a gap on the inside. Are we going to see them? Yeah, here comes the nose of their car. Gotta watch we don't get spun. Now that's where having a big solid car like the Cardinal does come into play. They just put their nose on the inside of our car, and if, if we're in a small lightweight car, that would have spun the car around, but it didn't. But I've overcooked it on that corner, and that has allowed the Raiden to get past again. The Road Slayer's coming up the inside as well. Yeah, we're going to lose two places there. Just try to hold too much speed around that corner and uh, clattered into the barriers. I think I'd have been struggling to hold them behind anyway. Let's see if we ha can hang on to them at all, though. We've now got a real good gap, though, back to fourth place, about five, six seconds gap. So we're in this lead three breakaway group. Can I hang on to these lead two cars? We know that Raiden is very fast, so I'm going to struggle to hang on to that. Maybe if I can try and hold on to that road slayer. Been very lucky. Well, <laughs> say we've, I've been very lucky, and most of us seem to have been very lucky with the crossovers at the moment. Of course, as we know, it's possible that Raiden got took out on one of the crossovers. Two laps to go then as we come across the line. Struggling to hang on to these two, but just about managing it at the moment. I think I'm going to need help. I can't see that. I can just about hang on to them, but I can't see I'm going to be able to catch them up unless one of them makes a mistake. And to me, that Raiden looks much quicker than the Road Slayer as well, which is what you'd expect, so... 
as it stands it's unlikely they're going to slow each other down by trying to compete for first place nothing I can do at the moment just try and keep it consistent keep it quick oh the road slayer's gone wide as well ah now that's how it can go wrong so oh and the Raiden's in the side as well the Raiden's hit the barrier and we are past them we're up into first place at the start of this final lap what well, that is I wasn't expecting that at all both of them as I said needed them to make a mistake didn't expect both of them to make a mistake Road Slayer first took that wide line which it hadn't done on previous laps so it was obviously trying to gain a little bit of speed and got it wrong. Then the Raiden caught the barriers as it was just going up the straight. It's still running as it? Yeah it is, it's right in behind us. Can we hold this for the rest of this lap? We know that they are much quicker. Can we hold this one second gap round to the end of the race though? They're right in behind us couple of tenths of a second they've dropped back slightly though I think they've really thrown it in over that corner and got it slightly wrong they've dropped back they're still in second place but lost a bit of time and if we can just take it easy around this corner don't hit the barriers this time because they're going to be coming with a lot of speed off that corner taking that really wide line we are going to hold on and we are going to grab a really unexpected win in the Cardinal first time I've driven it and a win 58.6 seconds oh the car that finished second I think has dropped out they were in a Raiden and they would have been a lot quicker a different Raiden has now finished second and the fastest car finished in fourth the Road Slayer on to today's third and final online race then and we're at the Motor City Circuit this is the trophy circuit configuration so we've got all the ramps and I'm going to be racing using the Al Matador this has fast become one of my uh, favourite C-Class cars actually really nice obviously got a lot of strength around it can't be bullied too much but it is pretty quick as well and obviously it's good on a track like this where you need a little bit of ground clearance chaos as always at the start of this race just got to try and keep it straight where which again is easier to do in a big heavy car like this we need to go over to the right hand side if possible slight clip on the back end there nearly sent my wheels over the edge of that ramp but just managed to control it whoa hammerhead is up on its side and it's back on its wheels again just three laps around here obviously quite a long uh, track brake car can we sneak up the inside of this rocket i think it is yeah we're past Gotta watch in case they try and hit back at this next corner. No, we're okay. Eighth place then. Midfield at the moment. Edge over towards the right here, ready for this left, right, left series of corners. Try and keep carry as much speed through these corners as possible. And I'm gonna allow the car to drift wide. We need to get over to this right hand side if possible. Woo! Just about managed to get there almost had to bail out and go for the ramp but ideally wanted to get around that right hand side of the ramps and avoid them going to try and go for the two lower ramps here whoa that is a really fast Raiden with an aerial overtake there as we come around I'm going to squeeze them though I'm not going to make it easy whoa squeeze them into the barriers as we come onto the straight for the end of this lap a little bit naughty there but we are going to be in fifth place then as we start the second lap good first lap really in behind this speedy now again going to try and yeah, can't quite get it try where possible to hit the low side of both ramps or speed has lost it slightly there but sometimes it's a little bit tricky to do without losing control of the car so no problem in fourth place now just avoid that car crash down the side and that was for position as well so we're up in third place now right behind second first visible in the distance as well Panther RS this is right in front of us and they've <laughs> absolutely parked on the corner there talk about defensive driving I'm on the outside here so this is going to be tricky and that Raiden is back and pushed its way through can we undercut it can have trouble out gripping a Raiden and that Panther RS really is making it difficult, very defensive driving, absolutely parking it on all the corners. We can push through here, follow the Raiden through down the side of the ramp and we're up alongside. Right, I'm going to try and aim for the lower side, can we push them onto the higher one? That will be slightly slower. Oh, they've got a funny jump over that bump as well. That's twice we've done that Raiden now. 
and we are up into second place as we come towards the end of the second lap. Panther RS immediately behind us, raiding just behind that one. Need a quick fast line through here. Let's see if we can get the lower side of the two ramps this time. So aim for the right and just aim it diagonally across to the left. But now we've got to swing it back in for this little chicane before we break into this tight right hand corner. Whoa, got it a little bit awkward there. And the Raiden has absolutely done us. Wow, that is a, a massive smash. We've reset quickly and off and away again. And the Raiden actually hasn't recovered as quickly. <laughs> Well, they absolutely did us there. I mean, to be fair, probably deserved it as I had uh, screwed them over a couple of times <laughs> in this race. We're back in fourth then. Last lap, any chance we can catch these? Looks like there's two cars, yeah, battling with each other up ahead. Leader is long gone, 11 seconds ahead. No chance of catching them, I don't think. work to catch these two cars but we are we are slowly reeling them in actually gap is dropping and that panther rs is one of them and as we know they're going to park it on these corners so that will slow the other car down as well oh, i'd love to be able to overtake both of these just before the finish managed to catch the low side of both ramps right in behind this Panther RS we can give it just a little nudge and sneak up the inside can we we are possibly past it's a drag race now to the finish and the Panther RS by the look of it it's got the run on me no we managing to hold them off and we are going to sneak a third place right on the line 1 minute 33.9 second fastest lap for ourselves the leader in a speedy was way the fastest car but I really enjoyed those three races it was really nice using some new cars as well like the Gorby and the Cardinal but uh, yeah really enjoyed those three races I hope you did too if you did please like and subscribe and see you soon